I wanted to just wait for the Facebook thing to pop up so I can mute it rather than uh, have all the background noise. Boom. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, grateful that you are here. I'm going to hit record so that we can also put this on our podcast. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to the ER Shred Come Alive call. We're grateful you're here. Um, we're really excited about the shares we have tonight. Hi, Susan. Susan made hey, it on. <laughs> Connie's on. Dawn's on. This is great. Thanks so much for, for coming, you guys. Um, we are live on Facebook. If your intention is like ours to reach more people with this concept and protocol and community and these products, please go and share this from my wall and share it with all of your friends and family um, so that they can kind of gain an understanding of, of this crazy thing we call the ER shred. Um, I wanted to give a couple quick, before we start our Come Alive call, I wanted to give a couple quick um, shout outs. Hold on, I gotta mute. There we go. Number one shout out is to uh, Jesse for hosting the call last night with David Martin. Thank you, Dave, for the incredible call last night with all that meaty content. Um, we really enjoyed that. And I just love, love, love the sustainability that people are finding with this and the joy and the fulfillment that they're finding around the community. It's just so exciting. I hope you guys are all planning on coming to Orlando for the celebration, which is in July. Um, if you haven't, you know, figured that out yet, please attempt to, try to, because we're all going to be able to, to be together. I don't know if you guys heard last night, uh, excuse me, Monday night, with um, Sharon Walsh, the CEO of Isagenics, where she, I actually just reposted the, uh, the YouTube of that one, but she actually invited us all to be there, rocking our shred gear, and you know, the, one of the cool things she sh said about us shredders is she said, uh, she actually gave her entire take on ER Shred. It was so cool. And she said, she's yet to meet an ER shredder who isn't really happy and really excited. So I thought that that was nice. Um, thank you, Sharon, for coming on. It was a real privilege, real honor. And uh, we're, we're just so grateful for you and for everything that you've done for us and for leading the way. All right, so tonight we have some shares. Um, I'm going to first invite, I'm going to assume it's Annie. Um, let's make sure Annie made it on. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it on yet. If not, we will go to Julie, but let me message Annie and make sure she knows how to get on here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we are there. You can make it on. I, I had just sent her the call info. Okay, so we'll start with Julie. That's Julie Bittner. Are you out there? Do you know how to unmute I'm yourself? I'm here. This is me. <laughs> Hi, Julie. How you doing? Hi, I'm great. I'm coming to you from Kansas City Chiefs country. Oh. So, rocking the Chiefs gear. Wait, show us that sweater again. Just say something so the, the camera grabs you. It's uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Let's go Chiefs. That is so great. My son loves the Chiefs. He loves Patrick Mahomes. He actually has his jersey. He spilled yellow chalk stuff on his Mahomes jersey. Um, yesterday, he was devastated. Like, he was uh, so worked up. It means so much to him. Congratulations. Yes, I'm a big Andy Reid fan. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun the last few years. So we're yeah. in the Midwest here. We're enjoying uh, some really cold weather and some great football. So. Yeah, you guys, you guys have a good team. You're spoiled for sure. And um, who shared ER Shred with you? Um, I was uh, shared through a, a lady named Patricia Magento, I think. I don't really know her. Um, but yeah, like Magic I Pinto or something like recommend. that. I remember. Yeah. So, so that was, just, how long ago was that? Um, that was just about two years ago. It was about, it was February of 21. 
Have you been a secret shredder? What is your story? Um, well, I don't know if I'm a secret shredder. I'm, I'm on occasionally. Uh, my story actually started uh, just real quickly. Like 10 years ago, I started with isogenics and started um, revitalizing my health. I started at 200 pounds. And um, over the course of about nine months using the standard isogenic protocol, I lost about 50 pounds. And um, so as far as ER, yeah, it's been great. Um, but ER Shred came um, a couple of years ago and I kind of dabbled at first in it. And then, um, then eventually I got connected with the group and it's really helped me to, to um, be more present, I guess, with the group. Oh, good. Okay. So how long ago, how long ago would you say you got more active in the group and with the, the community? Um, I would say the beginning of a 22, beginning of 22. Okay. So it's been a, it's been a full year. Yes. Um, I've uh, sold a house. I've moved. I've been really busy with my, uh, my life, but um, I feel like kind of a celebrity coming on with um, all of you folks. I see the names and the faces that I recognize so well. <laughs> oh man, that's so fun. Like, I'm so grateful you're here. Thank you for accepting the invitation. It, it actually means a lot. Tell me, um, before we go into your results and the benefits you've realized and all of that fun stuff, what, what would you say your passion is in life? Um, my passion is um, first my family and specifically my grandson. I got a three-year-old grandson, um, hiking, and then lastly, it's living a debt-free life. Oh, that's a, that's not a bad thing. That's a good idea, especially in today's economy. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cool. Well, very cool passions. I love all those. Um, so, give us an idea. As I see Jesse working out in the background here. Uh, give us, hey man, that's that's shredder stuff. So give us an idea um, what kind of benefits have you realized from ER Shred? Like what has your experience been and um, all that good stuff? Well, my experience has really been um, when I first started, heard about the shred and really started using it, um, I was starting to flounder a little bit in my my regular routine. I felt like things were starting to get out of control as far as my eating. So it really helped me to, you know, get dedicated and uh, structured in what I was eating and really gain that confidence of being in control of where I was at any, at any time. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's exciting. And that was a full year ago that you, you realized that self, you know, I guess you'd call it that empowerment. Yes. Yeah. It was a lot of empowerment. Um, and because I was, I've always been scared that I was going to fall back, you know, fall back into my old ways, fall back into the old habits. Mm -hmm. Um, and when I got introduced to ER shred, it really helped me to gain the confidence of knowing that even if I faltered a little bit, I don't think I'll ever really fall back to where I was because of the simplicity of the whole, of the whole system. So cool. So on that note, where were you before ER Shred? How were things going? How was you, the state of your health? Um, the state of my health is really pretty good. Um, like I said, I, I had been on a health journey for a while, so I was exercising and, and eating um, normally, I guess, properly. Uh, but, um, but again, I kind of felt like I was always on the edge of fall, falling back. Right. So um, I was probably about 20 pounds more than I wanted to be when I um, encountered ER Shred. And in the first couple of months, um, I dropped the, the 20 pounds and everyone kept telling me I was getting too thin and what was I doing? So, but mainly I was just working the system. Okay, so losing the 20, can we talk about that? Was that hard? Um, no, it wasn't hard at all for me. Um, just. Um, I also was working two jobs at the time, so it actually made it easier because um, I, mean, I was working a, a regular 40-hour day and then I was working a night shift. So I was able to incorporate and actually get the nutrition I needed to sustain that um, while doing the shred. So it was, it was super simple because there wasn't time to uh, get off track anyway, and I just take it wherever I went. So Neat. Okay. So you would, would you plan ahead? Would you pack meals and such? Yes, I would plan ahead. Um, you know, I would. Um, I I had to, um, you know, work two jobs and sleep and eat. So the planning ahead was was really important. You know, when I woke up from this nap, I would have a shake and then 
go to work and then I'd take my, you know, I'd take the ice of snacks and the cleanse and all that with me and have my timers going all the time. <laughs> right, right. Fantastic. That's amazing because a lot of people use the thing that you're saying kept you busy and, and kind of kept you uh, somewhat on track, which was regimen. A lot of people use that as, you know, kind of a crutch to say, I can't do it because I'm too busy. So you're basically looking at it completely differently. I love that. Yes. And then another tool I use, which we don't really talk about too much here, but um, I wanted to mention it is I would start my shreds in the in the evening instead of starting them in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I did that a little bit. Really, it was kind of before I really got ingrained in the group much because um, I don't I don't find that people talk about that very much. Right. But I would start my cleanse in the evening so that you had that 12 hours sleep. Very cool. Yeah, no, very cool. I'm down with all that flexibility. I love that. Tell me this, um, with you working like that, it, you know, it sounds like some of that work was somewhat uh, laborsome. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. So yes. were, were, were you satiated? Did you feel satisfied? Did you feel powerful? Um, yes, I don't, I don't really feel like I ever... Um, felt like it wasn't satiated. In fact, I was, I am also run. So I was running not, not a long, you know, not really long, but, you know, I would run twice a week, three, you know, three or four miles each time and working out along with the, um, the work schedule. So I didn't ever really feel like, um, that I was out of energy or exhausted. I mean, I always had plenty of energy to, to do what I, what I put my mind to. So cool. Way to go. So can I ask what other, um, if, if I were to say what, what else is different in terms of your lifestyle or performance, um, or what else, what other health benefits have you realized from shredding? Well, I think for, for shredding the, the one, you know, the one defining moment really for me was uh, the clarity of mind where, you know, I had one day that I can just pinpoint and say, okay, well, this is a day that I decided to sell my house. I decided to move. I decided to do all these things. And I just remember calling my original isogenics person saying, I can't believe, I know exactly what I want to do. I want to do this and this and this and this. And um, I did all those things. So that part of it definitely was exciting to me. What is that? Like, what are, what are you alluding to? I, I know what you're talking about because I have, I've had the same thing happen on multiple occasions. Yeah. What is that? What do you think that is? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, it's that kind of live moment I know is what we call it, but it I, I couldn't, at the time I couldn't really explain it. Yeah. It was just off the, I was just off the charts. I love that. Just That's really so knowing exactly the direction I needed to go and where I was going. So um, that was um, really integral in my last move. I sold my, you know, I sold my home. I moved close to my, my grandchildren and I became debt free all at once. Um, a lot of the goals that I had for myself were set out then. And as far as performance wise, um, last year I did a half marathon and I also took on a, a one day 30 mile hike. Um, and I suspect that I was probably the oldest person doing any of that stuff in my group. So um, I run, most of the people that I am active with are usually in their thirties and forties. And, uh, and they're a little surprised asking, if they- Do you mind me asking how, where do you, what age frame are you in? I'm 56. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I, I'm gonna, for you. Jesse, I'm going to make sure everybody can see you because he just loves this stuff. Yeah. He's clapping so, and fist bumping and yeah. freaking out for you. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. This is the lifestyle stuff that you know excites us the most. Yeah. And the, the thing else I want to kind of mention to others is like to get involved with, with other groups. Like when I moved, I didn't know anyone here that was in, a, you know, besides my family. And I got enrolled in a, in a kickball league for adults. And okay. I made a big group of friends and they ranged from 21 to about 40. And then there's me. So, so it's a lot of fun because now I'm like, they all come to my house and we have dinner and we do all these things together. And it's just, just been a great um, opportunity for me to reach people in a different way. Um, you know, my age versus theirs. Yeah. When did, when did, when did all of that unfold when you moved and you found the new community with the kickball and whatnot? How long ago was that? Um, well, the kickball was in the fall of last year. Okay. So fall of 2020, I moved, um, I bought my house October the previous year and remodeled it and moved and, um, I'm so, di I'm, so I'm digging on your share and I, and <laughs> I want to point out something that I find to be 
so exciting and and I hope other people are finding it finding it to be inspiring. You move, you you have this this moment where the brain is clear, you have your focus, you 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 suddenly come alive and you're going, I know what I need to do with my life. Bang, 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 bang. And you know, you'll look, you'll forever look back on that moment as whoa, like that was yeah. that was something special. And then you go beyond yourself and you you reach out. And, and, you know, kickball, I love kickball. That was like so fun back in the day. Mm -hmm. And you reach out and I really feel like that's, you know, that should be one of our tenets as ER shredders is that we go beyond ourselves and we are, we, we are social. Um, you know, we like candles. We, we go, we're life touchers. We don't just, you know, and it's not that we're forcing ourselves. It's just that when you feel so good, when you feel so good, you know, Dad, you want to be social. We're social. I mean, I'm not putting that on everybody. Some people really just prefer to be alone, but I just love that you went beyond yourself. And I know what that does for mental health. Um, and I know that I know what that does for overall well-being. And I think I, we, we want that for everyone. Yes, I think it's really crucial. And, you know, by, by moving and having these opportunities, I just basically would volunteer and just find different things to try to just introduce myself to new people. And the 30 mile hike that I mentioned, it actually was a philanthropic hike for cystic fibrosis. Oh. And so I was able, I mean, I have a close, uh, my son has cystic fibrosis and he's doing well, but you know, I'm, I was able to meet a whole new different set of family, different set of people from that experience and, um, and kind of just continue to move forward to those relationships as well. Cool. Cool. So you uh, now, currently, as, as an ER shredder for uh, over a year, um, you feel empowered. You feel like there is no turning back. There's, you know, you feel like uh, you kind of have that power and that control. And boy, is that a relief, isn't it? Oh, it definitely is. It really simplifies things. Um, you know, I do live alone, which which is not great, but you know, it does help because you're, it's simple to go to the grocery store. You know, you got your you got your shakes and you got your meat and your butter and I mean. <laughs> When my grandson comes over, we have eggs. That's what he has. He eats eggs and toast or, you know, yeah. keep a little something for him here. But other than that, all my kids know um, they're not going to get much if they come over here because I don't, I don't keep a lot around. That's cool, though. Yeah, the simplicity is really, it's, um, it's one of the things that I love the most is the simplicity. I think simple is, is more happy for me anyway. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, congratulations. We'll throw up swords. For you in just a minute here we're so proud of you you're an er shred warrior um everybody make sure you reach out to julie bittner and thank her and celebrate her um and we're we're just so grateful julie thank you thank you and thanks for your time guys <laughs> it's so cool that julie comes on here and she's like i get to see all these people and be with all these people um we might as well throw swords up julie put them up put them up for julie <laughs> I love it so much. All right, we have another share. Annie, did you make it on here? She did. I'm I'm assuming that we pronounce it Annie. I'm going to ask you to unmute. How are you? It's uh, it's Anya. But Anya. It, I, well, I, that, I wondered about that little that little thingy on the thing. Yeah, I was like, well, I, so I go either by the Gaelic. Or I go by the American, which is, uh, or English, which is Anne Marie. So, okay, Anya. Anya, what a cool name. Thank you. Um, Gaelic. Wow, that's cool. Anya. And Anya, what's your last name? Uh, all Mill Downey, but that's a hard way to spell it. So, I'll give wow. you the English version <laughs> Maloney, M O L O N E Y. Oh, very cool. Okay. And uh, where are you calling us from? Where are you calling in from? Hudson Valley, New York. Hudson Valley, New York. Okay, welcome to our call. And who shared ER Shred with you? I'm not quite sure how I came upon it, but I did when I needed to. And um, I spoke to my friend Jody, who is also my ISA person. And mm -hmm. uh, she's like, yeah, let's do it. Do it. Get involved with it. So Way I think... Cool. She, uh, she uh, was like the segue into it. That's great. Thank you, Jody. That's exciting. So um, how long ago was that that you got involved with, with our program?
protocol and community? Work? Well, with uh, with Isogenics, I've been doing this before um, COVID. I know everything that was, you know, post COVID, pre COVID, sure. and um, you know, I just wasn't feeling all this vegetation bloating me. Yeah. I'm a meat person. My father was a hunter. I was the butcher in the family. If he didn't feel like it. So I don't have, and I love animals. I, I am the person that'll stop. If I see an animal hurt on the road, I'll bring him sure. home. But when it comes, I'm a carnivore and yeah. that's what we all are. So yeah. I wasn't, I was, I, I was always missing something when I was having either a, a whey protein or pro or just the uh, plant-based protein. And I'm like, how can I possibly be so bloated? What is going on? And of course, how you feel you know, mind over matter, it makes how you feel makes your mind, you know, explode in different ways. So I said, steak, my God, do I love steak? <laughs> Let me try this. And we live basically on venison, you know, uh, oh, not yeah. since my father passed away, but, but uh, we'll, we'll get somebody out there. So um, I was like, this is great. This is a great, I can do this. So in November, I shocked myself and I don't usually like to talk about pounds or whatever, but it, it, in case I'm going against you know, what your, what your protocol is. But, um, so I started on a Monday and by mm. Friday I was eight pounds down and I'm like, what the heck is this? <laughs> like, this I'm like, there's no way this is happening. So yeah. I pull out another scale I put new batteries in it. I tried it on the, on the carpet, on the floor, on the tile. And I'm like, how did I do that? Like, and I didn't even try and I didn't even yeah. exercise, um, drank, but followed it to a T. Right. All your body, your so body was just rejoicing. I know. My body was like, thank you. I had the first uh, really good night's sleep in a long time. And that was without um, without cleansing. Right. So right. go figure. Right. So then right. I'm like, now nah, I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm going to get sick. There's something wrong with me. So I went on vacation and I did what I needed to do. And my vacations, it's not like, oh, I have to eat all this food that I wouldn't eat at home. Like I was very good, very lightweight. So then I decided to... Um, set a date and yes i picked the famous january 1st because i was like i've never done that i don't do the like i have to start on a monday i'll start on a wednesday i'll start today i, I don't putting yourself in the, that type of a position only sets you up for failure because you're like wow i have saturday and sunday to like put all this garbage in my body because monday i'm going to release it That's so true. i did start um on the first and then the next thing you know i did my 25 days and then i did my 11 day uh, shred so it's like 15 it's almost 16 inches and 17 uh pounds oh, so is that the, 16 inches and 17 uh, additional pounds 17, 17 additional pounds on top of the 16 inches and it, off my that, waist is that since uh january since 1st? january 1st dang so, girl holy moly that's that's so, amazing. And, and it's staying off and um, I don't lead, lead a very sedentary life. Uh, I mean, I'm 58. My kids are older, blah, 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 the whole thing. Uh, the chickens died, whatever. So, you know, so I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm going for my 20 minute walk every day. And if I can't, I have a set of stairs here in the cellar and I will make sure whatever needs to go from point you A to point B. You are such a shredder. I am so So this. I'm just having a lot of fun with it, you know, and uh, I wear my this little, so you know, track hand and like, what am I up to today? All right. So it's not a big deal. It's, it's 5,000, as I call them, feet, 5,000 uh, footsteps, and that's right. fine with me. But some yeah. days I'm like 15,000, but it's not a race. It's me. I mean, I'm not going to compete against myself. So um, I keep it very simple. Um, I've always been into organic food uh, before it was like popular. Um, mm -hmm. I always knew where my meat came from. Um, my parents are from Ireland. So Kerry Gold has been a staple in our household. Like, you don't even know. Um, yeah. If you can't afford Kerry Gold, go to Aldi's. They have their own little uh, knockoff butter, but it's basically the same. My, my mom, Anya, my mom actually shows up at my house like she's bearing Kerry Gold butter. Like she shows oh, up yeah. with the butter, and I'm like, oh, mom, you know my love language. I love you. It's so, it's just so good. I mean, even like we go to Ireland several times during the year because that's where most of my cousins are. Oh, and you have, you have butter over there and you know where your beef is coming from, right. which is why if somebody, you know, comes by and says, listen, you know, I, I, I shot this deer. I don't know what to do with it. I'm like, give it to me. I'll take the back strap and I'll butcher the rest up for you. They don't know what the back strap is. So that's like good for me. But, um, but I like that. And, um, yeah, I mean, I know right now that um, today I'm on a cleanse day. I am not hungry, mm, mentally fine. Sure. 
Tomorrow's another cleanse day. So that's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it. I mean, honestly, I hate the taste of the cleanse. I really do. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I just like, I'm like, Oh man, but I do it because you know, I, all right. So positive things. I don't want to do yeah. negative sleeping like a baby. Um, not having to take magnesium at night for, um, Charlie horses and stuff like that. Um, obviously I don't have any hair issues or skin issues. Um, and I'm not wearing any makeup anyway. So, but so, um, but, I love uh, the new makeup. I, oh. Crystal, Crystal's going that route too. I really prefer that actually. I, I think women, you know, if women wear makeup, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just, I think there's no reason that women should. No, man, we're fine women. just the way we are. Yeah. So, I mean, I like a little, like, you know, the, they make Burt's Bees makes a nice little lip tint and stuff like that. But I mean, I've been having a good time with this. When you wrote me and said, do you want to do this? I'm like, you know, who the heck am I? I'm just like some schlep from upstate New York. <laughs> But I used to, I've been, I'm retired 13 years, which that's another story, but. Um, what did you do just so we can get to know you? Oh, life. I've retired law enforcement from the NYPD. Oh, so, so so let me say, we thank you for your service. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't usually get that. <laughs> no, we, we usually, listen, you know, it's crazy times we're living in, negativity. but you know, it, no, this is the way our culture is. We always say thank you for firefighters, police officers, first responders, medics. I mean, it's really military. It's really important. You guys, we, sh you Thank know, these you. are the people that keep us safe. It's crazy. But like, you know, that if you're in that type of a job, you need to keep your body in shape. Yeah. And because you're running around like a complete nutcase. So now that I'm not doing my, and I'm exaggerating 90,000 steps a day, which I'm sure I probably did at one point, um, uh, you know, working all these crazy hours, I was eating healthy. Then I was protein shake uh, two or three times a day a salad chicken and I was doing great but my hair was falling out right it wasn't stressed because I was born into that job so meaning that I was so young when I went on that it didn't matter so I didn't know any difference so for me it wasn't stress it was fun it was joy to go in, to work every day but the charlie horses started coming and then I wasn't sleeping at night and I couldn't get enough water in my system and then all the water I was drinking was depleting I'm assuming the potassium and the sodium so things are getting like completely crazy and I'm not a doctor. This is just my body. So, um, when I left, I, you know, was introduced to isogenics and I was like, nah, you know, I, I, I already did one of those, uh, protein shakes. I don't want to do it. But then I met Jody Cassini and Jody was just absolutely amazing. And it's kind of like, I don't know if you don't like one Italian restaurant, you go to another. So I wasn't happy with my first person because they were not proactive in reaching out to me and I really needed hand holding in the beginning. Sure. So somebody said, uh, I put it on Facebook. Hey, does anybody know? And they said, reach out to Jody. And now she's in Florida and she's amazing. And mm. I, I call her, I feel I could call her 24 hours a day and she would be there for me, but she encouraged this. And uh, again, I mean, I have boundless energies. Oh, and here's something I haven't drank caffeine in 23 years. Wow. So just, I don't like caffeine. It makes me hyper. Um, I haven't had real sugar unless it was in a, um, a cake or something like that. I don't add it uh, for probably around the same time. So, um, so this having this, um, you know, options of eating, like I could eat steak five times a day. Uh, all I know is that I don't want to keep rambling, but this works. Yeah. And you don't have to do anything. I did not lift weights. I did not go out on crazy running. I didn't join the gym. I wasn't on a bicycle. This is just everyday activity and it's just coming off. And, you know, yeah. so did the bloat you know. go, the bloat go. Oh, back? there's no bloat. There's no bloat. There's like, I'm like, everyone's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm get, I swear, like if we, Oh my God, we could get all, all the wonderful women. We should get the men as well, but for some reason, men like just, just rock the bloat. Like, I don't know why they want to do that, but all the women in the world who are so frustrated by that bloat, like we should be reaching all those women because this is a gift that just to have it, that. It is a gift. It is a gift. And not to get into the whole postmenopausal thing, but my sister's on here who know what I'm talking about. It is, it's just amazing. It's just amazing not to have that feeling where it's just, yeah. I mean, I can eat, sit down and eat a whole steak. Some days I eat maybe a quarter of it. Some days I want a little bit more. Some days I throw bacon in, 
but I don't have any problems. There's no guilty feelings over here. And, um, oh, and just to let you know, I have all these challenges this month. I've been the designated driver for, for everyone to like, what are you doing? Dry January? I'm like, no, I'm sticking to a plan. So I've been able to drive people two hours to, uh, to down in New York City and here and there. And these are big banquets and there's buffets and stuff. I don't even, and I'm not, I'm not like blowing smoke up your butt. I mean, I don't mean to put it that way, but I am a hundred percent not going, oh God, I, if I only could have a spoonful of that, whatever pasta dish, nope, walk right by, headed right for the steak and the peppers. Didn't like, I don't like peppers, but the steak was delicious. I ate like a bowl for that and I was satiated. So it does work. And I don't you're know how just, it works. Uh, you're just empowered <laughs> and you're fierce. Yeah, I love Can it. I ask just, you what your passion in life is? I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, if I turn the camera around, you'd probably say, so what do I like? I like to make things. I like to save things. Um, we weren't very rich growing up. So if um, somebody throws out a dresser on the side of the road, I'll be the first person down there to take it, take it apart, modify it paint it and then be like, Hey, does somebody want this? I love to sew my own, um, dresses. Cause I'm, uh, even though it doesn't look like it, I'm a very, very girly girl when I want to be. I also like digging in the land outside. I've had my own veggie garden for the longest time. Thing is I can't eat anything in it because I don't like tomatoes. I don't like peppers. Uh, I just like, you know, I love carrots. I could eat carrots. So, you know, but, uh, but so I have a lot of passions, music, art, dance. Um, I, that's it. I mean, and I, I'm involved with everything like you could possibly. Shredders, man. Oh. shredders are a hell of a lot of fun. You're, you're yeah, fun. a little insane. You're fun. I... Julie, you're fun. I mean, <laughs> dang, like I love shredders so much. Well, thank you for this. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. I'm going to ask you to please continue to show up. You as well, Julie, please continue to show up in our group and inspire others. We got to throw up swords for Anya. What? an amazing uh share both of these new <laughs> sweaters oh you're like official you're you already were way badass you guys but like this is just us saluting you you guys are amazing well, thank you thank you thank you i just want to get together with all these people man these are my tribe these are my people i know you guys all feel the same way you guys are probably doing what i'm doing like I really would like to hang out with these people like in person because these are my people. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. So we have two brief updates. Those were our two new shares. I want to invite more new shares. If you are an ER shredder out there, and uh, even if you're one of them silent ninjas, I want to just invite you to let us know you exist. Um, I'd love to know how you're doing. Please reach out to my wife or myself or Heather or Jesse or Susan. Reach out to someone and um, let us know that you'd be willing, if you're willing, to come on and share your story. You never know who you're going to touch. I guarantee you that Julie and Anya have touched quite a few people tonight, and that's really what this is all about. This isn't marketing. This is from the heart. This is <clears throat> person to person with passion. What's up, Lisa? You want to come on and share an update? Sure, sure. Lisa Oaken, rocking the ER shred hat. Love How it. How are you, Sean? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're twinners. We are. We're twinners. So, Lisa, I don't know if you were able to hear both of those shares, but my gosh, you know, we have such quality, quality people, and the results are a little bit creepy good, like, like nutty, right? Um, what about you, Lisa? How long have you been shredding? I have been shredding since October of 2020, that's since you guys very, first very put very it out there. Wow, that's a long time, and you're not yeah. sick of shredding yet. Never, never will be. I'm a lifer. No kidding. So give everybody, um, well, we better do, the, do it official real quick. You're calling in from what part of Florida? I'm calling in from Boca Raton, Florida. Cool. And, uh, well, what is your passion? My passion is to spread the love of the ER shred to every person that I come in contact with every day. <laughs> I like that. Because I like that. How's that going? It's going amazing. Oh, um, I'm actually uh, excited because I um, hadn't been involved with um, a gym actually um, in a while since, since COVID. I, you know, found the shred before, you know, in October, 2020, and I had been prior to that doing Orange Theory and doing that like five days a week. And I hadn't done a gym 
all through my first uh, my first shreds and and really didn't feel I needed like to be killing myself in the gym because of the power of the ER shred. And um, then I found a, a gym that just what opened up really closer to me, which was a former coach of mine from Orange Theory that opened it and wanted to focus on strength training versus so much cardio because cardio mm -hmm. I can do myself and um, pickleball gives me a lot of cardio. So I'm good with that. Yeah, and um, yeah, so um, it's uh, it's good because a, a gym nearby just closed, which brings in a whole slew of new members that I can uh, share this with. Oh, and yeah. I'm very excited about it. So well, that is exciting. And I know how you feel because sometimes when I'm at the gym, I look around and I think, man, like Susan, I... once, Susan once told me, you know, these people, it's like they're climbing uphill and and there's, you know, like someone's dumping oil down the, the staircase and they're slipping all over. They don't they don't know what they don't know. And that's how I feel when I see a lot of the, the people who really need our help. And we just got to really connect with them and find a way to help them and reach them because we have a solution. So give us an idea. What what would you say have been the top benefits and results and lifestyle changes that you've realized? So um, for me, uh, I did a 11 day to start back in October, 2020. And I went right into the next 11 day. So I did a 23 days of the ER shred solid. And with that, as far as weight loss, I was, could have said to you, oh, maybe there was five pounds and anybody would have said that. But as powerful as this was, it took 16 pounds and 14 and a half inches from me and gave me back my body literally, when I say came alive, came alive. Um, that was inflammation that I was carrying around, visceral fat, fat, dangerous fat around my organs that I did not need, obviously. And it gave me clarity and it gave me energy and it gave me sleeping better. And I was able to, my workouts were even, you know, feeling better just in general. I mean, I'm nonstop every day and the energy and clarity that I thought I had I really realized that there was a lot more to be had yeah. and um, it's been amazing. And I li literally lived the shred lifestyle every single solitary day, pull back on cleanse days, put them back in, you know, and then do the global shreds with everybody, with my people that I introduce it to and support them and, and do it with them. And I love it. Absolutely. Well, I want to make sure that everybody knows, like you were not just, you know, your average American on the sad American diet, like you were a health conscious person that was very active. You are a very active person. Yes. And so I think that that's, a, that's like the real testament there to the power of what we're doing was you already were taking nutritional products, probably eating better than 90% of Americans. And yes. it still had that kind of a transformational impact on you. Yes. I had already been living um, on two shakes a day, um, and living the, you know, on, uh, isogenics for 13 years when I was, uh, 12 and a half years when I was introduced to the shred, ER shred. And this took it up notches that I could never have imagined. And, um, wish my mom was here to, uh, be able to share, to be able to, my mother introduced me to, uh, isogenics, um, back in 09. And I wish that she was here to be able to enjoy the shred because I know she would be enjoying it with me. But anyway, she's, she's yeah, proud of yeah. everything you're doing. And, and uh, she's and proud of you. She's proud of you and you yeah, guys, your, your relationship. I am familiar with that. My mom has talked about that repeatedly yeah. yours and your mom's relationship and the tributes that you put out there for your mom. It's, it's the most beautiful thing. Of course, you know uh, we believe in family Yep. Um, the only caveat to that being sometimes, you know, sometimes the family that you drew isn't necessarily your family. Sometimes it is. Sometimes the family you drew and the luck of the draw, you know, it, it is is like that and it works. And sometimes you have to find your family. A lot of people have found their family here. Yeah, right. It's just as good. Yep. Yep. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. I, I love you. I love your energy. Thank you so much for doing that incredible video. I still want to get that on YouTube, the video you did for our last global shred. You're so funny because you're like, what was I supposed to do? And I'm like, just, just top of you, just, you just hop on there. You're like, okay, I'll do it. 
<laughs> yeah. And one other thing that's really like, to me, mind blowing is, you know, I decided that on my last, uh, I want to share something here that is pretty impressive, um, like shocked me because um, I have four kids. I have four boys and I had four childbirths and they were all great. And I, like I said, I'm nonstop and I've never had surgery other than my four giving birth to my four kids naturally. So um, I had to go to my um, annual checkup and um, I inquired about a hysterectomy based on my mom's history. And when I did that, um, I was asked, why do you ask? And I said, family history. And it's a concern of mine. I don't worry about anything. I know I live a very healthy lifestyle. And when um, she said, okay, that's understandable. And so she said, okay, let's do a, um, let's uh, do a ultrasound uh, of your uterus lining. Okay. And I said, okay. And again, I've never had surgery before. So I was a little bit quiet and nervous and my mother wasn't there to hold my hand. So um, I, I said, okay. And it turned out that normal, I guess is um, four centimeters and mine was nine. So then I was like, okay, what does this mean? And then they said, okay, now we want to do another ultrasound using a camera. Okay. And that was it done in the office. And then um, a polyp was found that they were able to get. And she said, uh oh, she said, there's a big one. So there I was laying on the table saying, okay, great. This means surgery. So then I, um, I said, she, she, I said, what's the next step? She said, we would take um, your tubes, your uterus, your no, tubes, your ovaries, and your polyp. And I said, well, why not take everything? I'm done having kids and um, whatever. So she wasn't on the same page. I think she wanted to be my, my decision. Great. Fast forward. I said, can I talk to the doctor, the surgeon who would do it before I leave? I was leaving in two days on a cruise. And I wanted this kind of like, I wanted to know where I stood. And so um, actually a, a week passed by and I called back on the following Monday and said, can I come in? And she said, yeah, come in tomorrow at 1130. I went in at 1130. She was more on the same page as me. She wanted, I think, to meet me to decide. So I, before I left that day, I said, can I speak to the surgeon? She said, let me see if he's with a patient. He was with a patient. I said, okay, I'm going to stay in East Boca. Let me know. Um, you know, if that'll work. She said, okay. She called me 30 minutes later. She said, okay, can you come back at 1.30? Sure. I went back and I took a friend of mine with me because I needed another pair of female ears. Um, my husband said he would go, but this was a better situation. So I said, okay, great. Went back, spoke to the surgeon. He agreed hundred percent. He said, and it, he explained everything. I felt extremely comfortable. Um, he said, if you want, I have August 17th available, which was um, three weeks and school started in 10 days. And um, I'm a crossing guard as one of my jobs as well. And how many years, um, how many years 20, crossing guard? 20 years crossing guard for elementary and middle school. And um, so I said, OK, well, it's seven days into school, but this is really important. So I'm going to go through with it. And everybody was uh, amazing and, and understood. So I went on my cruise. I came back from my cruise. School started a few days later. And then I, after seven days, I was out. Um, went in for my surgery. I also, um, everything, you know, did the prep, whatever. Went in for my surgery. And I had to stay one night in the hospital. And he said everything was great. He did everything he had to do. And the next morning... I got up and I dressed myself. <laughs> I was discharged by noon. And I have to tell you people, I never took a medication and I never felt pain. And I took five weeks to, to recover, to do the right thing. And I was told I can't work out for eight weeks and I didn't work out for eight weeks. And then I went back to this gym that I'm at right now. And I have to tell you, it was absolutely amazing. And I know 150% that if it wasn't for the shred and keeping the inflammation out of my body, my body wouldn't have healed as well as it did. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a, a true believer of that. Yeah. So. Wow. wow. And I'm 57. <laughs> Lisa. And I'm going to be a grandma in six weeks. 
<laughs> oh, you got people cheering. I don't know how. <laughs> you got you got lots of people yeah. cheering for you here. Yeah. So Lisa, I feel great. That very that is a very personal story. It's a uh, it it goes to show you that you feel you know safe here and that and that you feel um, that that you know can be shared here. Um, I'm so happy for you because you know we want to keep you around as long as humanly possible and i think you were inspired i think you know yeah um, inflammation is the root cause of so many things and if we can keep it out of our body that's the name of the game i couldn't agree more um what i could speak to that is just that when i am when when my diet is on point um man i am just my mind is blown how I don't seem to get hurt. Uh, let's say I rolled my ankle hard, like really hard. You know what? It doesn't swell up that bad. It's, I, I, I'm able to walk on it. The next day I'll, you know, it, it'll be a little sore, but not, not like in years past. And I will be mobile and I will keep going. And I just think it's such a testament to the power of our bodies. Yep. When our bodies are in a more natural state. We are so powerful. Yep. I love you, Lisa. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Love you too. I want to make sure, you know, I got to give time for Susan's probably going to speak to all of that. That's unbelievably cool. Um, I'm so happy to hear that, that outcome and that uh, you're already back and rocking and rolling. Yeah. Lisa has been one of our most avid supporters and promoters of ER Shred for a very long time. We love you, Lisa. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Never looking back. Thank you. Thank you. Very yeah, thankful one... to you. Very thankful <laughs> to you guys. Very Same thankful thing. that I was scanning Facebook one morning on October 2020. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, some, some crazy Sasquatch was talking about eating meat. <laughs> yep. yeah. you, you and Jesse and our 10 minute conversation with each one of you. And that was it. It's all it took. Oh, that's great. Well, we're happy to hear that. All right. We have one more quick share tonight. And then I want to let, let our, our two health professionals share their thoughts on tonight's call. That is Connie Norlean. Are you out there, Connie? I am. Hello, Sean. Hey, Connie. Thanks for joining us. There's an echo. I don't know if. Uh... Yeah, we're yeah, fixing we're... it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Fixed. Oh, thank you. So good to have you here. Connie, where are you calling in from? Uh, Anaheim, California. Anaheim, California. What's your passion? Um, my passion is my family, of course, first and foremost, children and grandchildren. And secondly, I would have to ditto Lisa. Um, I just want to tell the world because how everybody deserves to feel as good as we feel yeah. but not everybody's going to want to do it so i know that yeah for sure it's the fits right we're looking for fits we're not we're not yeah. looking for everybody because you know they got to catch them at the right time how long have you been shredding with us two years Dang, october these... about the same time october 2020 right in there yep okay all right your result was one of the most mind-boggling and awe-inspiring in terms of the overall transformation your look um your physique so do you, you know i know you recently posted an incredible picture i really should find that but just tell everybody what you've experienced over the last two years and how it's all been just so that they can you know from your perspective um they can get an idea of, of how this has worked for you sure um, I've been in isogenics for 19 years, and so the, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you this. I didn't want you to think I wasn't. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome. That's a, that's a cool one. That's a classic. Yes. Um, I've been with isogenics for 19 years, and um, I had really good results 19 years ago and felt great, and then, you know, up and down, life happens, and then uh, four years ago, Saturday, this coming Saturday, my husband passed away. And um, I kind of hit the skids, went into a lot of sadness and um, started not eating so good. And I realized that I was, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna give myself grace because it's okay, I can, I, well, I couldn't fix it. When it came time that I had decided that it was time to do something about the weight I had put on, um, and I'm 5'3 and I weighed 150 pounds about that time. And um, I, um, when I heard about you on the shred, I'm like, there is no way, no way I'm gonna do this. This sounds ridiculous. I love you, but no. 
And um, so my girlfriend decided she was going to do it. And I'm like, well, crap, I got to do it with her. <laughs> so it's all Yolanda's fault. And so uh, we did the shred and I dropped, I don't know, like seven pounds, I think the first one. Um, but within four months, I had dropped about three and a half months, I think of, I had dropped my entire, I went from um, 150 to my lowest at 124. And so um, I'll fast forward to today, I'm balancing out about 130. Yeah. And isn't that great? I mean, I tell you, it's absolutely amazing. I feel incredible. I will um, come back to the middle and tell you that last January, like Mimi and so many others, I was hit with COVID and I was hit pretty bad. I was hospitalized, no ventilators or anything, but I was hospitalized for two days. I remember days. that. And, uh, that, was it, a, that was a yeah. setback. I remember that. It really was. And it really knocked the socks out from under me. And um, I was um, not eating the right stuff and I got bloated and I even when I started eating the right stuff I couldn't get that it was hanging on to me it was like mm. I was doing the right stuff but it was hanging on to me but instead of me giving up because I knew in my heart of hearts that this was the answer and if I stuck with it long enough I was going to win over what the virus was trying to do to me and I was going to get rid of that bloat and get my health back Right. And so I fought for quite a while, but uh, it's back. My energy's back. My mental clarity's back. My um, desire for life is back. Mm. Um, my bloat has gone and I feel incredible. And um, I am so grateful for ER Shred because I don't know. I don't know where my weight or my health would have been after, regardless of the other years, just after COVID, because mm. it did a number on my brain. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I had it as well. And emotionally it was a real setback for a while. You really remember you and I conversed a lot about that. And I was I do, trying yeah. my best to assure you that, you know, it's a, there's a road there and, and hang in there. Can I show I really you grateful these for pictures? Your support, so, Sean, I really appreciate it. Oh, well, I love you. You're, you know, we go way back. Uh, yes. I don't know if this is, this is not maybe one of the most recent posts, but you know, even still, um, you know, this popped up, check out, yeah, <laughs> isn't this amazing, you guys? Look at look at Connie Thank here. You. Let me let me just show and you. So two asked, things I want to share. One is I'm going to be 80 in May, and secondly, look at yeah. you, Connie. Look at you. <laughs> also lost my hair there. I didn't have much hair. I did it's all I could do to create that. <laughs> but my hair is back and. Um, I'm gonna, um, I'm, my goal is to get back to walking more now like we used to and tone myself back up. I wanna be in perfect shape for my 80th birthday in May. And I'm, um, the other thing I will add, and I think there's a lot that contributed to this, but um, just quickly, in when I was 72, I went in for a bone density test. And I don't think you've heard this. Um, and when I went in for a bone density test, I was told I was borderline osteoporosis. Mm. And um, I wasn't about to go on drugs for it. So I just went on through life. And last spring, summer, last summer, I went in for another bone density at the request of the doctor. I'm like, well, I'm getting over all this virus and everything. So, okay, let's do everything. So I did that. And my bone density was... Um, no longer in danger mm. and um, of, of, of uh, I have no longer in danger of osteopenia or osteoporosis. Um, and I, like she said, I am no doctor, but I would attribute it to three things if I could. And number one and foremost would be the difference in my diet because I'm putting so much more healthy protein in my diet, which builds the strength of the body on the inside. Um, number two, I think that the um, collagen bone broth has attributed a lot. And sure. thirdly, I would say our collagen elixir. Excellent. And those are the three things that if I were a doctor, <laughs> that's what I would say that contributed to it. So I can't thank you enough and I can't thank the board enough and this community and the group mm -hmm. and, you know, 
don't ever give up because this thing works and and I wish everybody would believe us. Sometimes they believe us, but they have to fight us first. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I know, but that's what makes it fun because then when they when they do come on board, it's that much more meaningful. Yes. And I do have like, I don't know, I have several people in here that have had tremendous success on on the shred. So we love you, Connie. Connie, you're amazing. Guys, Connie Norlean, please look her up. Please reach out and thank her. Um, please do the same for Lisa Oaken. You guys, this is too good to be true. I shouldn't say anything else because I need to turn it over to firstly our uh the head of our health professional board, which is holistic nurse Susan Rothman. She will then pass this to close out our call to our coach, Jesse James Jamnick, who's an ambassador of ER Shred. Um, And I won't say another word because I know they have a lot that they'd like to probably, um, they'd like to speak to these results. I know they'd love to do that. So Susan, are you- Can I add add one thing? Oh, sure. Thanks, Connie. I want to thank you and Susan Rothman from the bottom of my heart, because between the two of you guys, you talked me back into my health, not into the shred, but just staying with it and getting past all the mind junk. And just, I just love you both for that. And I, I just thank you so much, both of you. Oh. you. <laughs> I love you back, Connie. <laughs> thank you. Thank hey, you. Susan, it's your turn to, to speak to yeah. these results. Well, what a, you know, such a great call. You, Connie, I had no idea that you were going to be 80 in May. And, um, you know, you know I that? will say that's amazing. I mean, yeah. But, you know, when you were going through that, it was like you you were going through a tough time, but you never wavered. You you knew you had a way to go there. And um, that's what I'm hearing through the whole call. So, you know, um, from Julie and Anya, what great shares, you know, Julie, you talked about um, becoming expansive, which pro- was probably already your nature, but opening up. And that's what we see in this community, people opening up. And, um, you know, in the beginning, I used to say to Sean, it's like these people, they wouldn't post a selfie. They're showing their stomach. They're doing lives. They're confidence. And, you know, for me, I called it the happiness factor. And it was fascinating to me to watch this. And then, of course, I'm listening to all of you and Sean, like what you said, I mean, I wish we all lived near each other. You know, like I have a relationship today, friendships today, of course, a deepening relationship with Sean, Jesse, my brother, Lisa and Oaken is one of my inner circle now, you know, one of the most important people to me, I love you. And uh, we know that PR shredders rock belly surgery, right? <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, you know, so just great. And Anya, your mindset and um, your passion just for life. You know, shredders, I say it all the time, you guys vibe high. And, um, you know, I remember so many years in coaching, you know, people in weight loss or with their health and, you know, with isogenics. And I know Sean and Jesse can attend. We can all can attest to this people whining and like well yeah and constant whatever it might have been and uh you know and connie spoke to that it's like she might she went through it she went through something tough and it, it took time for her to bounce back but she never wavered on the path that she had chosen and that is something I don't know, you know, that's another thing that I'm going to think about tonight might keep me up. Is it innate? Is it intuitive? What keeps pulling people back? You know, they may go off their old patterns and beliefs and habits may take them into eating crap or whatever it might be, but they, they gravitate back. And um, maybe it is ancestral. Maybe it is intuition. Maybe it's all these things. And, you know, I look at all these things this year and like you people are my friends I don't know that I I I I never believed that this would have been possible um online and all the love you know aside from everything else the results my own blood work my own results my own fitness and my way how I'm aging all the love that this has brought into my life and that I truly feel like with the board that I have a family there and that I have a beautiful friendship today with Lisa and Melanie was at my house over the weekends, um, you know, close to Bob, actually most of you. And um, 
you know, so I hope, you know, we're all experiencing this together. You know, for those of you that showed up tonight, you know, that, that I haven't seen before, please keep playing. Please keep bringing yourself to this group because you both, both of you girls have amazing, amazing energy. So um, tonight was really a treat. And Lisa, I love you, honey. And I know, I know you miss your mama. I miss mine too. That's it. I'm going to turn it over to my brother, Jesse. <laughs> Hey, Jesse, wow. will you do me a favor and also plug Crystal's call tomorrow night? I, I forgot to do that. Well, let's just do it right now. Every <laughs> single month, we get graced with the presence of the one and only Crystal Escobar, uh, who has dedicated her pretty much entire life of coming out to self-personal development. And I can so attest to this because when you do all this work yourself and you've struggled for years and years and years and something clicks and you finally get it and you just feel so freaking good, you can't <laughs> not help somebody else. And that's what Crystal's done. And she's so giving that she jumps on here, gives her time once a month to make sure that you guys are being served in what I think is one of the most important pieces of your transformation and we've heard it over and over and over again it's the mindset the mindset the mindset the mindset right because i can write you all the programs in the world i've done it for years and i've watched people flop and i know they're good programs because they work i've tested them i've tried them right um you know with with this what we're talking about so tap into that that's tomorrow eight o'clock eastern 5 p.m. Pacific uh, in the ER Shred community. I'm sure it's going to be on Crystal's wall or Sean's wall. We'll get it up on YouTube. Get it on the podcast. I mean, gosh, just get it. Just get it. Like if we haven't said it, show up, just get it, right? Like you can't win if you don't show up. Um, Susan, I think this is so ancestral. In fact, I was even writing something. I said, you know, ER Shred blends the wisdom of our ancestors' intuition with 21st century innovation. That's what this is, right? Like, that's what this is. And when you start to really think about the bigger picture of this and think about what we're doing, you know, I was geeking out the other night with Sean after his call. Like, literally, I was jumping in my freaking garage at nine o'clock at night. I had trouble sleeping. And I was like, bro, you never believe what I, what, what I just thought of, right? Like, I'm listening to this podcast. I'm hearing this thing. I'm getting all this information. This is why we need to get it. Like, hear me out. This might sound crazy, but check this out, guys. This is so much bigger than just health. This is so much bigger than just a transformation. It starts there. It has to start there because we're the catalyst to the rest of the message, right? But when you think about everything that ER Shred is and how we're tapping into our ancestral ways, you also got to think bigger about how we're giving back. Everybody, raise, do me a favor. Raise your hand if you believe something like the environment is important. Okay, cool. Think about this real quick, right? We are taking how much less packaging is every single person on this, on this call using today than they did before. If you were a junk food junkie, if you were going like my friend Lizette to the, to the movie theater buying popcorn just to get the popcorn and go back in your car, right? You're using less packaging, using less gas, getting less prescriptions. You know, you're, you're tapping into regenerating our land by choosing high quality animal protein. When you're choosing high quality pasture-raised beef, regenerative farm, if you're getting into vegetables, you're literally helping pull carbon dioxide out of the air. Now, I know I'm a geek when it comes to this stuff, but th this, this hit me the other day. And I know like, you know when you get excited, you have like, like it feels like a freaking battery is going off inside you. I don't know if any, maybe I'm just a crazy one. I'll be okay if I'm just a crazy one. But you know, you get like the little jitters and you're like crazy. Maybe it's because I just worked out. I don't know. But I, I like had this thing and I was like, holy shit. Like this is so much bigger than even what we thought. Two and a half years in, thousands of people's lives have transformed. Well, what's the impact we're having? How much less gas are people using? How much less pollution are we creating? How much less plastic freaking water bottles are we using because we understand the quality of our water? How much more carbon dioxide are we pulling from the air because we're, we're supporting these farmers that are doing it right? We're not just tilling our land. We're not just creating runoff. We're actually absorbing water. We're, we're taking care of everything that's going on. Think about how much bigger this is. I know that seems really nuts, 
but this is the level that I'm at now. I'm like, it's got to be here. It's got to be something more. This is so much more outside of me. It was always outside of me when it was about other people, right? This is never about freaking me. Like, I'm good, but how can I get other people to feel good? That's why we should all share. That's why everybody needs to promote this from the freaking rooftops, right? Like, call it a business, call it sharing, call it making extra. I don't care what you call it. But you got to do it because it, it has the ability to shift and transform so much. Can you imagine a million plus people all choosing to live this way? The amount of rest that we will bring to this world, which also brings so much more, my friends. That is something to get excited about outside of yourself. Yeah, do a backflip about your results. I'm so proud of every single one of you. Thank you for showing up. I, I really do appreciate you from the bottom of my soul. Because your courage is going to give that to someone else's. I just had this poor soul I was talking to today. I said, what's holding you back? She said, I'm holding me back. But by hearing these stories, by being brave enough to get out there and tell people, you're breathing that life into other people. And then it can transpire into, into what else? Better relationships, better communication, better human beings. Maybe we'll think straighter. Maybe we won't argue as much anymore. Maybe we're not so pissed off because we feel like crap every single day that we don't have to fight each other anymore. I mean, I really need you to open your mind and think a little bit bigger on how massive, how massive of a thing that this really is. And we all started by saying yes to 11 days. We all started by saying yes to 11 days because somebody else was brave enough to make a post on Facebook because somebody else was brave enough to get on a call and share their story. So freaking bravo to every single one of you. Like I'm really jazzed up if you can't tell. And I'm going to, I'm going to cut myself off because there's so much more that's in my brain. I showed Sean. I was like, here's my journal on all these thoughts that I had. I'm like all the things that were impacting. I gave you the tiny outline of everything that I pulled out on what we're actually doing. By saying yes to ourselves in a greedy way, that's okay. You got to be greedy first because you can't pour from it from a half empty freaking cup, right? Like you've got to serve, if you're going to serve ourselves, our loved ones, our family, our children, and then we can pour that over into everyone else that needs it. This world needs what we have to offer. You've got to get out there, be brave, and share it. Show up, tap into the group. Tap into everything. We heard the community on, on, on how amazing it is. Like, that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about, guys. So I, I hope you followed me on that because I really think that if we can tap into something that's a little bit bigger than ourselves and really look at what we're doing, really look at it, things that we don't think about every day. This just came to me out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, my God, like, we're seriously making a massive impact, not just in, in, in a life, which is already good enough. But I mean, really think about what I just said. You're having an impact in that. And my God, the world definitely needs what we got to offer. That's all I got. Thank you, Jesse. I, I take a lot of pride in that. Everybody's clapping. Everybody unmute. Feel free to unmute. I take a lot of pride in that as well, Jesse. Preach That's it, Jesse. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Sean. Awesome, Jess. Julie. Great call, everybody. I really enjoyed everybody. Mimi, thing. thank you so much for your support, my love. You're welcome, my sweet girl. <laughs> You're awesome, Connie. So are you. Yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Rock stars. Good night, guys. Love Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Thank, thank you. you. See you tomorrow I'll night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Here we go, Jesse. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, uh, you didn't snap it. It didn't work. Oh, it's not working. Hey, listen. Awesome. You gotta behave you yourself guys. live on Facebook. Hey, Sean. <laughs> hey, Sean. Bye, bye, guys. Hey, Sean. Can I ask you a sir, question? hi, Bob. Hey, Sean. I wanted to ask you. When yes, you were, sir. did you? Are we okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, go ahead. Did you happen to get a set of those swords from that restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> did, you ask, did, you ask, did you ask for some of those swords from <laughs> hey uh wait till you see um i'll show you guys in the in the not too distant future 
my cousin is making me, he, he makes these custom, um, these knives and he's, he's oh, making wow. them special for ER shred. Well, nice. I have to pay a small fortune for it, but it's, um, I can't wait to be able to show it on these calls and be able to eat with it. It's going to be so yeah. Cool. <laughs> you cut it, you stab it, you eat it with your blade. Yeah, I know. It's really yeah. exciting. It's, it's going to have ER shred um, engraven in the blade, and it's going to be oh, about nice. 12, 12 Forged. inches. Forged. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we love all that stuff. 2023. We... Nah. <laughs> Loving that hat, Bob. Bob, you need to come give an update soon. I hope you'll go fill out that form. Oh, check it out. Check it out. All right, guys. Sammy, <laughs> Good night, y'all. Sammy, you too. We got to get you sh your share. I don't know if you signed up yet. No pressure. I will. Sammy <laughs> <laughs> said me a message. She said she's going to do next week. Oh, killer. Tammy, Look. I mean, you're the mighty <laughs> dragon slayer. You brought, See, you brought I down the... I got a text from her right here. She said I'm doing it next week. All right. All right. Yay. <laughs> All right. All right. Good night, you guys. you guys. Good night. Much Good night. love. <laughs> <laughs> Heh <laughs>